Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Good morning, Mr. Hughes. Good morning, Dad. Let's take care of Mr. Hobart. He's in custody. This is file number 241340, People versus Austin James Hovarder. That's you, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, you're here with your lawyer, Mr. Ross Truckee. Mr. Truckee, what are we going to do here? Just uh, plead to the charge? Yeah, Mr. Hovarder's indicated a desire to plead his charge. All right, Mr. Hovarder, you're charged with indecent exposure. It's alleged that on or about July 20th, you made an exposure of your person. Uh, that's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $1,000. I know that you've been struggling with your mental health. I did a couple of uh, mental health petitions. Yes, sir. And you got brought in for evaluation. Are you still on parole? Yes, sir. I'm yeah, supposed to be going to a uh, first step. That's what we're trying to do. Go to first step. It's a psych and psych foundation in Battle Creek. All right. Well, I don't have any objection to that. You certainly need some mental health help. Um, but this charge is a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail, fine of up to $1,000. Do you understand the charge? Yes, sir. Anybody threaten you to get you to plead to this charge? No, sir. Or promise you anything? No, sir. To understand that by pleading to this charge, you'll be giving up your right to have a trial in front of a judge or a jury. There will be no trial. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. If you had a trial, you'd have the right to be represented by an attorney. Mr. Truckee is here with you. You also could hire an attorney of your own choosing if you wished. If you had a trial, you'd have the right to have any of the witnesses for or against you subpoenaed to come to court so they could be questioned under oath. You would have the right to take the witness stand and testify on your own behalf. You don't have to because you have a right not to testify. And if you did not wish to testify, the judge or jury could not hold your silence against you. And you have the right to be presumed innocent unless they were to prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. This took place at the Country Hearth Inn on... Uh, July 20th. Yes, sir. Um, you're pretty distinctive looking. They Good. can certainly. Yes, sir. Uh, and you and I met when you were 17 years old. Yes, sir. Uh, and um, could I explain my side of the story? Yeah, well, sir? Well, they you know, say I'll that put my some hand point, on the Bible. I'll tell right, you well, you don't have to do that, but they say you pulled your pants down. Not at all, sir. All right, um, tell me what happened. I urinated in front of some females. And is what happened. I was at a buddy's house. And I was just smoking marijuana, sir, and we were partying, and I had a female come over, and the females at the country hearth at the other hotel room didn't like the female that I had come over. So now they're arguing because I have a female come over, and they're not mad at me, they're just mad because I have a female come over. And now the female that I have come over, I tell her she's got to leave because I want to chill with my friend that I'm chilling with. Well, now she leaves. Well, now the females are still mad because I'm there. And now they're there. Now that I got to leave. Now I walk outside and now they're yelling at me. They're talking and I didn't even approach no door. And it says that I approached the door. And it's what I'm going to tell you. And does this sound like anything I would say? But is what is it? Does, does that sound like a I think, female? I think you've established. Okay, but, but I'm not going to say what she said. Yeah, you don't. Well, that. they said you offered them some meth and a meal. Meth and meat? Meth, meth and, and, meat. A, and a meal. So, no, meth and a meal. Meth and meat, okay. A meth and meat or meth and a meal? Did, did, okay, but it meat. says that I knocked on a door and then, right, I, well, and, then point, and then she opened the door and then I said, do you want some meth and meat? Does well, that sound like something? Well, at some say? point, did you urinate in front of these ladies? So, yes, I did. That's what I did. I urinated in front of these females and they got mad at me and they called the police because I urinated. Yeah, that, that's All right. Well, saying. that'll get us over the hump here. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what I did, sir. I urinated right for these females and they got super mad and called the police on me. All 
right. And as soon as I walked out the door, that's what we I don't did. Need anything else? I don't want you to say anything. Yes, sir. But I'm barely speaking. Why am I? All right. Well, Austin, this could result in a violation of your parole. Uh, your agent kept trying to send you back, and the Department of Corrections keeps saying we don't want him back. But they're trying to get you into some sort of mental health facility. Yes, sir. It's first step psych eval. It's a psych foundation, and then they're going to send me to Bear River and Traverse City. And, um, sir, if anything happened, could you give me probation even? And this is what would happen. If you give me strict probation and you strict the range, and I'll, I'll drug, I'll do GPS. Well, you're already monitoring. on parole. So I'm yeah, not... no, but this wouldn't even be a gift from God. You could give me, mis you could give me probation is what they would do. I only have four months on parole. And if this happened before, they would discharge me from parole if I discharge from parole in four months. And then they'll, I'll get it. I have a job. I'll get a job. And I'll, you can strip the reins on the misdemeanor probation. And then I'll discharge from parole and just be on misdemeanor probation. And they would lovely probably give me a chance and, and discharge me from parole early just so I could, because I'm still on misdemeanor probation and I'll pay all my fines. I got a job. I'll do good, sir. Yeah, well, you got another fine that you owe from a disorderly person that was earlier. And we haven't had a very good success rate on probation. Um, I promise you I'll do probation, sir. I promise well, you. Well, your under there is a very intelligent Man, I promise you, sir. Yes, sir. And you've squandered a lot of it. When you were a young guy, I think I've grown up, sir. I just did eight years in prison. I just got out. I don't want to. I promise you, I'm a grown man. It's not fooling around no more. I don't break the law, sir. That's, that's what the judge finished. Yes, sir. Nobody's. Off. He's talking about my past. He knows my whole history, sir. He's yes. known me since I was 17 years old, sir. It's not. I'm grown now, sir. I promise you, I don't break the law. I barely even drink anymore. I mean, you know how drinking's been my downfall? Yes. I barely even drink anymore. You know all I do now? Smoke weed, dad pen. You know how it's legal? That's all I do now, sir. Well, it isn't legal while you're on parole, but what you didn't need to get involved in is methamphetamine. Yes, yeah, that's all, sir. Right. That's all. Well, I'm going to leave this up to Tracy Shaw, but she's got a detainer on you. And uh, I'm going to... They've got a plan for you to go to two different facilities. You'd be in there longer than I would have you on probation. So I'm going to order 12 days credit nine, giving three days to serve. I'm going to waive all the fines except a minimum of $125 or two additional days. We'll provide this to your PO. Sounds like you, sir. you're going to get in. Uh, and first, you need to deal with the mental health issues. Then you need yes, to do But it's not so much, sir. And you know, and you've known me my whole life. I'm very respectful, sir. And these females, and dude, they could have cried rape. I mean, this is scared straight. So, well, you've always, I even knew you before you were 17. This is a big you've deal. always been very respectful to me, but you're yes, killing yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Methamphetamine, sir. I'm done with it. This is scared straight. I promise you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Good Appreciate luck to you, you. Mr. Hobart. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Judge. That finishes the people that are in custody. There are a couple of themes running through our morning. One is mental health struggles. And the other is drug and substance abuse addiction, which is sort of the same theme of every day. But watching his decline over the years has not been fun to watch. And I'm not a fan of face tattoos. That means you're just giving up on proper society. When you walk in for a job interview with a couple of prison face tattoos, it doesn't put you at the top of the hiring list.